G'day folks, it's Phil from 15 Minute Guitar Practice here. I wanted to do a vlog for a festival we were playing uh, a few days ago. It was our last show of 2018 and it was a big one. Here in New Zealand, it's the middle of summer right now. That means summer festival season, of which my band, The Hendrix Project, were invited to play. So I wanted to make a vlog to document the day's proceedings and give you maybe a little bit of insight into um, stuff I do. Turns out I suck at vlogging though. I didn't do enough of it. I didn't really address the camera. I didn't <laughs> I just film stuff. Then I run out of capacity on my phone and it was a bit of disaster. So I present to you what I did here, but don't expect much. It's probably the only vlog I'll ever do. Okay, so it's the day of the gig. The gear is loaded in the van. We don't have to take much stuff, but we still have to jigsaw a bit in. And the weather's looking awesome. So uh, it's gonna be hotter than I think we expected. We're about to jump in, jump in the old van and um, drive for three hours down to the show. And as you can see, I've done the whole <laughs> get rid of the beard and this is the most stressful part of getting this right because you get this bit kind of level and then this bit's like a bit shorter and oh anyway uh, you know um, kind of projection circular projection oh, yeah, 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 you know? yeah. Yeah, like the lava lamps. Yeah, 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 kind of. But, 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 but somehow they did this thing, and man, it was incredible. I've got to say, when I saw the stage, my reaction was like those girls on blacked.com. Oh my god, it's so big! <laughs> Stage. It's looking nice. That's a super lovely day. So the thing is, when you're faced with a big production like this, your mind kind of goes a bit blank if you're not used to it. You know, should I be setting up my stuff? Where should I put it? It's a whole bunch of stuff to be doing. So it's hard to know where to start with stuff like that, but so far I've given a paper set list for the sound guy, who was very grateful. He said he did receive the set list, but he didn't have a paper one, so that's a, a really good thing to remember to do. Um, all our stuff is just set up side stage currently. Um, so the whole unpacking and plugging in thing is gonna happen during changeover, which I'm a bit nervous about, because 15 minutes is not a lot of time to get it right and strum a few things and make sure you've got everything you need sound wise so I'm a bit, a bit anxious about that but I'm sure it'll be fine these guys seriously know what they're doing um, so you've got to put your faith in those people who do it every day it's a beautiful day it's super hot luckily the stage is covered it's like a inflatable dome shape so that's very cool the refreshments have arrived. So this is the green room area. Salubrious place. It's very cool. Out of the, sh out of the sun. There's a few couches and things. It's mean. This is our little spot. I'm not sure about those plans. <laughs> And this is the uh, this is the full gear. I'm not wearing the hat because it's too windy today. But um, ready to go. Um, no sound check, just a line check. After this band, in about 10 minutes, we just walk on stage, plug everything in, get started. <laughs> it's kind of real seat in your pants stuff, but. Um, You've seen the side of the stage, man. I'm really looking forward 
It's time, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give a nice, warm, luminous welcome to the Hendrix Project. Don't you man. So we just finished the set and um, we had a few technical problems at the beginning. There was no power out the front, so the, the tech guys tried to fix it. And then in the end, you know, I needed the in-ears. The guy just went, you know what, um, I've got a wireless battery pack. Just use wireless in-ears. So he gave me that and we, uh, we got it fixed. But we had to cut two songs short of Purple Haze and uh, Watchtower. But anyway, next band is Queen. It's going to be awesome. Put my drink in loud, he said Mama, love and trust the God I so much out of the world Funny story though, the Queen band, they didn't turn up at 2 p.m. They didn't turn up till about maybe half an hour before they were due to play, which I think was about 8.30. And they were at the back gate trying to get in. And of course, they didn't have their backstage passes because they'd literally just arrived. Their backstage passes were in the festival arena with um, you know the festival coordinator for the day. So they were going, hey, we're the Queen band. Can we come in? And the bouncer was like, nah. He was like, but we've got a show to play. And he was like, where's your passes? And they said, we don't have our passes right now. The passes are inside the festival. And this standoff, it probably went on for about four or five minutes until one of the bouncers came into the green room and said, 
do you know the Queen Band? And I said, no, I know of them, uh, but I've never met them. He says, is, is that them? I said, dude, I told you I, I've never met them. I couldn't recognize them because I, I don't know them. He says, hmm. He said, do you reckon it could be them? I said, well, why? Because, well, they're trying to get in. And I said, well, when we arrived, we were faced with the same situation only because it was really early. We were able to come into the festival, speak to our contact and get the, the passes. The passes weren't available at the back gate. So I would assume, yeah, they probably are the Queen Bat. So he went, hmm, all right. And he let them in. <laughs> and they were came in kind of, uh, you know, they were a bit hurried by then with all their gear and everything and trying to get ready. So sometimes you can be not let in to your own show uh, because, because of things like that. I thought that was pretty funny. So he played for about 50 minutes. <clears throat> we had to cut short our songs. Um, we had to cut two songs from the set, uh, but we still managed to finish on a, on a high with Foxy Lady. As you'll see, it was loads of fun. I got to do loads of feedback and whammy stuff and just really, you know, jimmy it out a bit. All in all, it was a fun show. The weather was awesome. The crowd was awesome. The crew were fantastic. I mean, these guys know their stuff, know what they're doing. Um, the accommodation was fine. Um, the food and the green room area was great. There was lots of refreshments. Um, there was lots of fruit and deli plates and, you know, good hospitality. And um, really, really impressed at the level. It was like walking in. It was almost like I was a professional. It was great. Have I said that before? <laughs> the, whole, the whole thing is like a peak experience. It was great from start to finish. So that was the Hendrix Project at the Reminisce Festival 2018. Hopefully they'll ask us back. We had an awesome time, lots of laughs, met lots of people. The weather was beautiful. I mean, it was all round an A1 experience. So thanks for taking the time to watch this. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Please leave your comments below and um, have a happy and safe 2019. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.